Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, write X-path expression to find the child element position under a parent tag. Let me answer this question with practical demonstration. So, in order to find the child element position or child element, okay, under a parent tag, we have to use or write the X-path expression something like this. We should not be mentioning the circular brackets. For example, here double slash input square bracket one. If you mention the circular brackets, it will find the element not at the parent tag level, but at the page level. Okay, this kind of X-path expression will find the first element having the input tag at the page level. But if I remove the circular brackets like this, it is going to this particular X-path expression after removing the circular brackets is going to find all the elements, okay, which are at the first position. If I give number one here, first position under a parent tag. So multiple elements will be located. If you put the circular bracket, only one element at the page level will be located. If I remove the circular brackets, okay, it will locate all the elements on the page, which are in the first position under the parent tag. But if I give two here, it will locate all the child elements under a parent tag, any parent tag on the page at the second position level and so on. Okay, whatever the number you give, such elements will be located. For now, I'm putting it back to one. And let me practically demonstrate. For that, I'll open the browser and take you to this application, omai.blogspot.com. And on this application, there are several elements on this page having the input tag. If I right click and select inspect, okay, select inspect. Then if I say control F, I'll get this uh, box. And if I say double slash input, it is locating 35 elements on the page, right? 35 elements on the page having the input tag. Okay, that five elements on the page having the input tag are getting located. I can just keep, keep clicking next, you see. Total, all these are the elements, whatever the elements that are getting highlighted, right? Those are the elements having the input tag. But if I directly give one here, without circular brackets, if I give one here, you may be thinking only out of the 35 elements, only one element will be located. But here, there is a different case. 24 elements are getting located because you see on this page, Let's say this element, okay, which is getting located, having the input tag. Why this element is getting located under the form tag, under the form, it can be any parent tag, under the form tag, in the first position we have the input. You see, uh, after this input, another input is also there, but that is not getting located because it's at the second position under the parent form tag, okay? Not only that, if you go with another one, here another input tags are there, but in, the, in that all the input tags, input tag having the first position under the form tag is getting located. Now, under the due input tag, first position, uh, under this due input tag, okay, in the first position, you see this input tag in the first position under the due tag is getting located. Uh, input tag under the form tag is getting located. Input tag under the due is getting located. Okay, you see every input tag that is getting located in the first position under its parent tag. So total 24 are coming, but if I put the circular brackets, without circular brackets, the child elements under the parent tags, okay, along with, uh, uh, according to their position are getting located. But if I give circular bracket, the things will be different, okay? The things will be different where, you see only one, one element uh, should get located. If I give two here, let's say, okay, only one element. If I give three here, with circular brackets, it's different. But without circular brackets, for example, here, I'll remove the circular brackets when the number three is there. Just see what's happening. Under the parent tag, okay, the third uh, child tag position should be three. Okay. So total three elements are there. For example, one of the elements that got located is this one. You see under the due tag, first position is in this input bike, uh, bike related input, then bicycle input. Third one is car, uh, car input. Uh, that car input tag is getting located, which is at the third position. You see first position, second position, third position under the due tag. Like that similarly, Another element, okay, under this due tag, pen, book, laptop, that laptop is getting located because this laptop checkbox field is at the third position. One, two, three. Under its parent tag, what is the position? If I give circular brackets here, on the whole entire page, okay, uh, third element having the input tag, only one element will get located at the third element. Only this element will get located, okay? So if you put circular brackets at the page level, the elements will get located. If you remove the circular brackets, okay, 
at the child tag level, the elements will get located. So hope guys, you got the answer for this question with practical demonstration. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.